What, what, what's a demoness? A female demon. And if you saw her in that painting looking at you, you become the next victim. Well, why didn't you destroy the painting? I tried. I can't. Please tell me you didn't see the girl. Well, I, I, I saw her at first and then she disappeared. Get out of the damn house. was something that Holmes claimed was an e, what he called an elasticity determinator, which was supposedly a device to create, as he put it, a, a race of giants by strapping people onto this thing and then stretching them out. But it was clearly some kind of torture device. their bones, Holmes would profit from his victims by selling their skeletons to local medical schools and universities. Uh, uh, someone's in here. Sir, we're trying to keep the handicapped bathroom free for the disabled patrons. Well, this, this was the only one open. How inconsiderate. I'll be out in a minute. It's the Tasteless Comedian. I saw him go in. Is that you in there, Tasteless Comedian? It's him. His silence is guilty. You like making fun of people with disabilities? Think you're really funny? Let's just calm down. I won't calm down. That brute comedian is holed up in the disabled stall and he won't get out. Well, let's get him out. Hey, brute comedian, get out of there. Come on, let's go. What are you looking for? I need a new vacuum cleaner, and I want the best one I can find. Oh, any suggestions? Well, girl, now you know I'm a clean freak, so I bought a Mila vacuum. It's the best. Where did you get it? Best. Yes, I want the best one. Where did you get yours? Best. France, are you messing with me? No, I'm telling you. Best vacuum is where you buy Mila vacuum. Oh, I get it. The best place to buy a Mila is best. That's right. Best vacuum. <laughs> get your Mila vacuum from the best. Best vacuum. What's the matter, Mime? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> At least clowns play funny instruments. What good is a mime? innocence of America shone through in the early decades of the 20th century as parents let their children play unattended and unguarded on the streets of New York. There was no such concept as stranger danger in the poor communities as they felt kidnappers would not target the children of those who could not pay a ransom. Yet children continued to disappear. He felt driven to torment and kill children. Sometimes he would gag them, tie them up, and beat them, although he preferred not to gag them. 
circumstances permitting, for he liked to hear their cries. When I wanted to buy more paintings from him, he sent me a thing in the mail saying that the uh, Department of Corrections in Illinois has deemed it a business venture, and I can no longer mail paintings out from death row anymore. So he says, but if you want, if you come up here, I can send them out with you, the paintings out with you, as a gift. And then you can send some money to me as a gift. 34 painting, do not drop. You'll notice that it's a, I'm sorry, here we go. It's from Dick Blick, who's the art supply place. And it should be say, yeah, it's mailed to John Gacy. So he used this, uh, he received this rather with a bunch of blank, blank canvases. And when he sent me out, you know, like on one of my early uh, whatever painting pickups, I just carried him out in this box. I thought, well, I'll make this little catalog. I called my business Grindhouse Graphics because all the movie posters that I'd already accumulated or collected at that point were basically from the Grindhouse genre. So Grindhouse Graphics became the center for Gacy painting acquisition. The people of Kansas, as a result of various populist movements that, that went on, beginning in the mid-19th century, elected not to carry out executions. This was effectively broken with the execution of Pansrum. It's a vengeance. We want our pound of flesh. <laughs> 